from you know children all the way to you know mature elders, uh, and I was really wanting something that was easy for everyone to use. Why carry so much products when you can have one easy bottle that suits the whole family in the bathroom? And so um, I wanted a gentle cleanser that would be effective to take off makeup, but without over drying the skin. So that was one huge thing. Um, two, I wanted um, anti-age skincare, but a lot of anti-age skincare have a lot of oils for mature skin. So I made it anti-age, but then I took out those oils, and so young uh, skin can still get away with wearing it without breaking out. So that's kind of the key thing is uh, making it uh, regenerate new skin cells for both young and, and older skin. So I hear a lot about mineral makeup, and uh, you know, there's lots and lots of mineral makeup available. It, are there problems with mineral makeup? Is there something wrong with it, or you know, do you run into issues? It's a really good question, too. Uh, I love mineral makeup. Minerals are, are wonderful for everyday use, but the problem is, is minerals are made of the earth. They're made out of rocks, and if you mash up a whole bunch of rocks and you look inside the rocks, it's usually shiny inside the rock. And so when you take a picture of something shiny, it's going to glare back. So basically, minerals aren't photo-friendly. And I think it's a wonderful philosophy being all natural and being able to use it every day. But for special occasion, if you know you're going to get a picture taken, or if you know you need professional photo makeup, you shouldn't use minerals. 